So this is an update on our previous video about how to arrange and start an online lesson. A few things have changed since uh, last year inside Microsoft Teams. So we thought we'd revisit this and show you that it's actually much quicker and easier now to arrange and start your online lessons. So we're inside this team here for a Year 11 English Set 3 class. Um, we're all ready to go. It's all set up with the students and teachers in it. Um, but what we need to do is we need to set up our online lessons. So there's two different options. If you just want to start your lesson at the time it starts, you can just press the Meets button in the top right, and that will start the online lesson instantly. If you want to schedule this so it appears in people's calendars, they get an invite and they get reminders before it starts, then you can drop down the menu and press schedule a meeting. When you schedule a meeting, it already adds everybody inside that team. So you don't need to add any required attendees. So I'm going to call this English lesson. And I can pick the date and time for this to happen. So I can pick the start time and end time. I can put in any details, maybe some preparation that they need to do. And I can click send. And that's going to send an invite out to everybody. And it should appear in their calendar once they've accepted that. So once that meeting's set up, as a teacher, I can click on that. I can click the join meeting to join it. I can even start it early. I can also go to the meeting options and I can set up any pre-configured settings that I'm allowed to. So you might have the option to even record automatically here, depending on how your system is set up. But I can choose who can bypass the lobby. So you can keep all the students in the lobby before it starts. Um, I can choose who can present. And you can see the defaults are ideal for a teacher. But I might want to disable the mics and the cameras for the attendees, depending on what type of session it is, whether it's just a webinar or a tutorial. Um, and I can allow reactions, which uh, again could be off putting. You might decide to turn that off. So you can save those preferences before the meeting even starts. Of course, you can just go straight into Meet now, and that will pop up. Uh, when the student logs into Teams, that there's a meeting happening now and they can come and join it. Um, it's probably best to schedule it if you have time to do that, because it's going to appear in the calendar once they accept the email. They can get an email to be notified about it. It should be much more structured for them. So I hope that's given you an idea of how to start your online lesson. Check out our other videos about all the options and all the things you could do inside those lessons to make them engaging and interactive.